try to work together and work with each other. Recognize that we all have something to offer. We all have something to give. In giving, you're, you're certainly receiving. You're receiving more than you're giving. celebrating our differences too. Yeah. Yes. As you say that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Lisa said, would not be there. 
So once we start feeling connected with ourselves and knowing who and why we are, then we can be connected with others. Mm -hmm. And then that peace, I feel, automatically comes. Mm -hmm. What do I know? <laughs> that was my five pennies. Yeah. I don't think you can have peace without respect. And personalizing it, I have a very deep um, devotion to God, a very strong spiritual feeling, but there are people in this world who don't believe the same thing I do. And they have that right. And if we can accept that as human beings mm -hmm. and bring in the love piece and bring in the personal love piece, then P-I-E-C-E -E, rather than P-E-A-C-E, -E, then I think we can, maybe not in this world, but get going in the right direction. But for me, the, the start has to be the acceptance that just because you have this powerful belief or commitment to one thing doesn't mean that other people aren't allowed to have strong feelings about something that's different than yours. Alright. Yeah, can you turn that on yourself? Sure. Oh no, I didn't know you were <laughs> Sure. So, um, there are multiple realities and apparently we are in a good reality where we still live in peace while in other realities we already have war and stuff. So you are driving through these realities and every next second we kind of choose where to turn to the good or to bad, like through the law of attraction and through keeping the garbage which we carry with us. So one of the keys to the peace is trash, to trash and to let go of the old garbage, that's one thing I kind of learned from uh, the teachers. Another uh, idea is that it looks like you already made it to a, to a good reality. There is like a gr great, very certain road to, to peace. Uh, we, are on, we just happen to be on, life, on the timeline number one uh, where, where we're in good shape. And um, I feel compassion to, to us who are on timeline two and other timelines. But, but at least on this timeline, it's, it's just very easy to, to, to drive forward, just to not, not to carry the junk. And uh, as you mentioned, uh, combining our, our, our individual consciousnesses into one, I just got good news a couple days ago. It looks like people become telepathically connected and start talking to each other in a moment between sleep and wake, like in a half, half dream state. People just talk to other person, unknown people on the other side of the of the globe. They just got hello. My name is Gloria. Hello, my name is Mike. Next time, talk to, talking to you. So they just wake up and start talking. So that, if that is how it will happen, that's great. Like we just start being connected and talking to each other like like dolphins. Dolphins already like half of the dolphin brain is sleeping and half of the dolphin brain is awake. So they are sleeping and awake at the same time. So that's what we need to learn to. To be able to do. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Well, thank you, Sean. Well, I I'm of the belief, or so you could say that uh, everybody is their own world, and there's. There's many, there's tr literally trillions of different stars and galaxies and planets. Maybe not multiple universes as called you, because you don't really know, but you can know that there is many different planets, stars, galaxies, etc. Um, I, I feel that, that uh, every, anybody can have peace at any moment in time. I can have peace if I just sit and, you know, just meditate right in the, so right in the moment I can be in peace. Um, P-I-E-C-E -E and peace as the word. Um, it can, it's uh, your, your being of light in, a, in, a, in, in, the, in the highest sense of it. And 
the thing is like I I feel you can have more people looked to themselves and saw that their own genius has um, been uh, has been a detracted from themselves by not looking in themselves and allowing more of the universe to flow through them and and that there's plenty out here for everybody um, that their money their idea of money and abundance is idea ideation and and, it's, and a lot of it is entrepreneurial thinking and it's wealth consciousness as Napoleon Hill and many other writers have set, stated in the past, Robert Kiyosaki, um, many, many, many fabulous uh, authors and artists have, uh, have stated uh, world peace concepts. And, but I think that too many of us haven't understood that Every author writes a part of yourself into a book. You have to look into a book that you read and see how what what part of a book is is that is me in that book, and how do I relate to that? How do I unify with the consciousness of that to accept peace for myself? and to understand myself within that too. You know, is, is the, the sunlight and everything else, it purifies. You know, you're a plant too, you're growing from the, the ground up. Um, I've had so much trouble ever since, you know, I've been a little kid. But you, if you understand, it's always a progression forward. Um, and everybody else is a piece of you. Uh, I am you and you are me. That's, you know, the, the I and I and Jamaican principles and everything else. And it's all integrated. Um, there's this whole consciousness shift that I feel that we're all going into. This is, it's an integrated consciousness where everybody is, is integral. Everybody is a part of it. And we're all whole, we're all unified, we're all moving forward. Um, as, we, we, as we do this, we, we accept world peace. Um, but we have to accept this as, 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 our, as our path forward and um, that everybody has their own unique world and we're all on the same planet, you know? <laughs> so, That's good. yeah, yeah. Wow, how do I follow that? <laughs> yeah, you thought of this. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, and I agree with a lot of that, Sean. I think it's really good, uh, especially with where we are truly, truly all interconnected and we are all part of the whole. There's a synergy that connects between all of us that actually connects with us individually and also unites us together. Um, and I think that's some of the things that we have to look at when it comes to uh, world peace is we have to find it um, within ourselves first and that we can continue outward and connect outward to other people in the whole universe. Um, I think it's, it's something that Brenda mentioned is again, it, it starts again with self-love. It, it has love of self to continue. From that point, you can also love others. And from that point, uh, it becomes almost like uh, infectious. It'd be like laughter or love. It, it connects everything together. It's uh, it connects all the world peace too. So um, there's there's another thing that um, Lisa mentioned is the ego. That's another thing when we have so many patterns of the negative ego that we want to kind of leave behind and kind of just more embrace love. I think that's pretty much. I don't know, everybody else said something so good, so I'm like... That's good to hear. <laughs> I, 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 I explain to everybody, so... Um, you know, this is interesting, you're talking about world peace. But really, you know, I think some of you did mention that world peace starts with us. Because if you cannot find peace in yourself, you're going to find peace in the world. 
And I think we should stop waiting for others to say there's going to be a peace in the world. There is never going to be such a moment. And Sean said very nicely that we all have our own worlds. Yeah. So unless our world yeah. changes, then the outer is going to change. Yeah. So it's not that we have to change the outer, it's the inner that needs to be changed. And that peace we need to find in our thoughts. As often as I talk about meditation is that you are observing your thoughts and there are lots of negative thoughts that creates a lot of violence. We don't think this is where we are starting. Gandhi was, uh, when he taught his grandson, said the same thing, that if you want to understand nonviolence, you've got to understand violence. Where does the violence start? And he says it starts with our thoughts. Mm -hmm. And then we don't we look at it. But so that's an important point. That we need to see that the thoughts create our reality. Uh, secondly, I, I often will say that, you know, this is a time of great shift happening also in the world. Because you find something, a lot of the crazy things happening, and there are a lot of good things happening. And the idea is that, that uh, you can easily go on the other side and be trapped into that. But to remember that you are still conscious living beings and we learn to live in peace. Because there are many peace activist people out there who say the name of peace, but they are really not peace activists. They are a lot of angry. Now if you look at the Occupy, you know, Wall Street, they are angry. They are talking about good changes, but the way they are, you know, doing their work is through, I don't think it's through peace. All right, so this is totally different kind of world peace that we talk about, is that can we find peace in ourselves right now, in this moment, right now, what is it we feel, and that every moment we can, uh, you know, embrace that. Because I don't think it is something that you can think about, we have to live every moment in peace, because the crisis does happen. And many times with this crisis, I stop everything and I say, okay, what's going on inside me? <laughs> Mm -hmm. And, you know, it makes me become more aware of what's happening inside me, not to react. Mm -hmm. right? uh, I don't know once we read newspaper, media, or we can react to a lot of these things. And, but I also feel that the world peace, once you start embracing it, there are people around you that can, you can impact other people. Because mm -hmm. if you are at peace, I feel that everybody else around you will feel that. So that is the important part, is that we still continue living at peace, in spite of all of that. What's happening around us, um, and uh, this year, you know, in 2012, you know, it's really for us to take that shift, the big leap. And it's a very uncertain period too, because we don't know where we are going. I mean, there's nothing charted out for us, so we have to be the pioneers in creating this new reality. So we have a choice: do we create peace and live like that, or do we live in the same mad world? Because just like Eckhart Tolle says, if we live with violence, we're going to kill ourselves. He says we're not going to evolve. So the choice is that evolve or die. It's really a question we have right now on our planet. And uh, kind of, you know, that's how I, I kind of, uh, I know I cannot save the world. We are not here to save the world. Mm -hmm. But I think an important thing is to, is to, is to work with ourselves and see if we can change the outer. Because I think outer will change once the inner changes. So to that, I don't know if anybody wants to add something, but I wanted to do a little meditation because I think that it is group meditation that will impact. Uh, I, I got to leave. Uh, thank you very much. Nice to meet everybody. I will be with you spiritually. <laughs> <laughs>